So, you thought flying cars were only a thing from the movies? Well, not anymore. Yes, you heard us right. Automakers have finally figured out ways to make flying cars into a real thing, and we are absolutely ecstatic. From the sporty looking PAL V Liberty to the unorthodox Maverick, here are eight flying cars that can actually fly. Number eight, PAL V Liberty. The PAL V Liberty is no bigger than an average car you see on the road. In fact, the car has been specially designed to not look out of place on the streets. Well, that is if you can ignore the huge propellers on its roof. The Liberty can be converted from a regular old streetcar to a gyroplane at the mere push of a button, allowing you to soar to the skies within seconds. If you don't know what a gyroplane is, it basically means the blades of the car are powered by the wind, meaning that they will rotate as long as there is wind. And if the weather doesn't have your back, you can always land and drive on the ground. With its Dutch engineering and Italian design, the PAL V is currently one of the best flying cars available. It is designed to seat two people and can accommodate a maximum takeoff weight of 910 kilograms. The car can fly at speeds faster than 160 kilometers per hour. The 100 horsepower supercar has a maximum range of 500 kilometers and a maximum fuel capacity of 4.3 hours. The automakers first came up with the idea for the Liberty in 1999 and unveiled the car to the public in 2017, with the first few buyers being handed over their keys in 2020. Number 7. Klein Vision Air Car Automaker Klein Vision first unveiled its air car in October 2020. The car manufacturers released a video of the air car flying for the first time, and let's just say we were impressed. The vehicle is a four-wheel car that can seat two people. But unlike the PAL-V Liberty, which flies using propellers, the Klein Vision air car flies more like an airplane, but this means that the car can't just immediately start flying since it has no vertical lift. The air car needs a long runway for takeoff and landing. The air car looks like any other car until you activate its flight mode. At the push of a button, the car's wings extend out and the tail pulls back to make flight easier. The Klein Vision air car is powered by a 1.6 liter six cylinder engine that has been manufactured by BMW. According to Klein Vision, the air car will have a flying range of over 600 miles and will be able to reach a maximum speed of 124 miles per hour. At this stage, the air car is still in its prototype stages, but the company hopes to make the car available to the public soon. Number 6. Terrafugia Transition With just the push of a button, you can turn this ordinary looking car into a full-fledged airplane. The Terrafugia Transition takes off like a helicopter and flies like a plane. It's a four-seater car that can carry up to 635 kilograms in its spacious cabin. Terrafugia conducted its first test flights back in 2006 and went into its prototype phase in 2009. The best part about this car is that it completely eliminates the need for hangar storage because of its compact design. Another great thing about the transition is that you don't need to fill it up with some fancy jet fuel to be able to fly. You see, the automakers wanted to make a flying car that the ordinary person could use. This is why the Terrafugia transition can run on regular automotive gas. The company has further plans to improve the car's design and performance by making it fully electric. Number 5. Blackfly The opener Blackfly is an electric-powered personal air vehicle designed by Marcus Lang and manufactured by his company Opener Incorporated. The Blackfly was first introduced to the public in 2018 and went into production in July 2021. Open Air Inc. has promised that the car will cost no more than an ordinary SUV when it hits the market in a few years. The Blackfly will not have a tilt rotor design. Instead, the car will fly by changing its pitch. When the car is parked, both of its wings are tilted upwards at around 45 degrees. And to fly, the black fly pitches itself up by 45 degrees to allow the propellers to pull vertically. Now, unlike some of the cars mentioned in this video, the black fly cannot be used like a regular car on the road. It can only seat one individual who is under 6 feet tall and weighs no more than 250 pounds. It's not quite the flying car experience that you'd hope for, but hey, at least it's going to be cheap. The black fly is rumored to have a top speed of 62 miles per hour. The car will be able to fly for roughly 25 kilometers without having to recharge. Number 4. Terrafugia TFX The TFX is another flying car being manufactured by Terrafugia. This car will use folding wing technology to transition from car to flying vehicle in under a minute. The TFX is brilliantly designed, and you won't need a large space to take off. As long as you have a clear area of at least 30 meters in diameter, you won't have too much trouble taking flight. 
The TFX will include a full autopilot mode that will let you take off, fly, and even land. All you'll need to do is set the course. The TFX is a four-seater that can reach ranges up to 500 miles. According to Terrafugia, the TFX can fly you from London to Geneva in under three hours. For comparison, a regular flight between these cities can be around two hours long. Sure, the TFX might take a little longer, but in our opinion, it's still better than the hassle of going through airport security. Number 3. Airbus Pop-Up Unlike the other cars in today's list, the Airbus Pop-Up isn't a vehicle meant for personal use. This car is actually a taxi service that passengers can book through the Pop-Up app. Once the passenger books a cab, the software factors in things like location, traffic, and availability before sending either a regular ground car or flying Airbus to pick the passenger up. Now, we know you might be thinking to yourself that this sounds like a ripoff. Why are they sending a regular car? But you see, if you are in a car on the road and traffic gets too bad, you can always request that a flying module come pick you up. The capsule you're sitting in will then detach from the road module, allowing you to be lifted away to your destination. Number 2. Molar Skycar The Molar Skycar is really special in the sense that it is actually one of the flying cars of all time. The Molar was released to the public all the way back in the early 2000s. Yes, all that time we spent waiting for the future to come, and it was right there in front of our eyes. Now, you might be wondering why this car isn't a bigger deal. Surely something's gone wrong. Well, you see, despite being on the market for decades, the Molar Sky Car is not fly legal, which basically means that it cannot be FAA certified in its current state. The company has spent $150 million developing this vehicle, and it is currently available on eBay for $5 million. Also, anyone interested in buying this vehicle should keep in mind that it has never actually flown and has only been hovered in the air while being tethered to a crane. Number 1. Maverick Developed by the ITEC, Indigenous Peoples Technology and Education Center, the Maverick is one of the most original takes on a flying car that we've ever seen. You see, unlike the futuristic and cutting-edge cars on this list, the Maverick isn't powered by fancy propellers or wings. Instead, this car uses a parachute to lift itself off the ground. But that also means it needs a roughly 300 feet long runway to be able to take off. Surprisingly enough, the Maverick is FAA approved and is both air and road legal. The Maverick's design is so simple that it can be flown by someone with no prior experience in aviation. The vehicle has a 2.5 liter Subaru engine that generates 190 horsepower. When airborne, the Maverick can reach speeds up to 20 miles per hour. The Maverick is not intended for general use. Instead, this car is designed to be able to reach more remote locations where other cars cannot go. The idea is that vehicles would mostly be driven on road, but they would be capable of flying small distances over obstacles, such as washed out roads and fallen bridges. Now that's vision. Alright, do you ever see yourself flying a car? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.